Hi everybody, Mrs. Gorski back. And today what we're gonna be doing, we are going to be making number sentences or equations that will have missing add-ins, two missing add-ins of that. And they are gonna equal out to one specific whole number. And in this case, my whole number is seven. How did I get that? Because I have seven candies. So let's just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So probably thinking, how am I going to get these two add-ins to equal out to seven? Well, I have another picture here. This is my candy jar. I'm gonna put some of these candies in the jar and leave some of them out. So since I'm dealing with the number seven, I'm gonna have a couple possibilities here. So let's go ahead and get started. I think I wanna go ahead and put maybe let me put three in the jar to start. And then I'm going to leave out these four. So how I separated these candies is how I'm gonna make my add-ins. So how many do I have in the jar? I have one, two, three. So therefore, my number here is three. I have some left out. So that number was four. One, two, three, four. So therefore, my other add end will be four. So my number sentence here, my equation would be three plus four equals seven. So that's how I would do that. Let's use my trusty number line also to help us. Maybe we could use that counting on strategy to help us. Let's start with the number three, and I'm gonna count on four more. So let's go ahead and do that. Three, and then count on four more. One, two, three, four. See, I made it, got to that seven. So I think I wanna be a trickster here. What happens if I wanted to flip this. Maybe I don't want just three in the jar. Maybe I want four in the jar and leave three out. So let's see what happens. Will we still get seven? Okay, let's switch it up. So I'm not going to have three as my starting number anymore. I'm going to have one, two, three, four. Then I have three left out. One, two, three. So now my equation has changed. It's not three plus four anymore. It's now four plus three equals seven. So let's see, will it work? Let's count my pictures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, well that worked. I mean, I didn't take any candies away. I didn't add any more. Let's use that number line. Let's count on. But I'm going to start at four this time. Ready? And count on three more. One, two, three. See, I still got to that seven. Even though I turned that fact around, even though I made a flip-flop. All right, so hold tight. We're gonna do another one. Okay, we're back. So I changed things up a little bit again. I do not have candies anymore. I got burgers. So let's count and see how many burgers we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's gonna be my new whole number. It's going to be eight. So that's the number I need to find add-ends to make, okay? So now Mrs. Gorski has a little platter here and I want to put some of the burgers on the platter and I want to leave some of the burgers off. So that's going to help us make that number sentence. So let's see, what do we want to do now? Hmm. Let me see. I think I might do, I think I might do four burgers on that platter. All right. One, two, three three, four, and I'm going to leave four off. One, two, three, four. So let's go ahead and make that number sentence. Remember, 
There were four on the platter. One, two, three, four. And there were four left off. One, two, three, four. So that's going to be my other number, my other add end to make this whole number, which is eight. So let's just double check. Let's make sure four plus four equals eight. I also wonder if you know what kind of fact that is. Hmm, I wonder if you're thinking, I wonder if you're saying it. Remember, when you have two add ends that are exactly the same, we call them a doubles fact. Double, that means you see two of them. So four plus four is not our only doubles fact, but it's definitely the doubles fact that's gonna fit this number sentence. It's gonna fit this picture. So let's see, let's count our picture and make sure four and four more is gonna equal that eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Totally worked. Now, let's use our number line. Let's use that counting on strategy to make sure that we get eight as our answer. So here we go. Four, and then four more. One, two, three, four. We got it again. We did it. So, I don't think four plus four is gonna be our, our only option to make eight. I think there's another way. I think we could have a couple more ways, but let's just do one more way. All right, so I'm gonna take these four off. Hmm, let me erase this. And get ready for a new set of add-ins. Maybe I don't wanna put four on this time. Maybe I'll put three on, let's see. One, two, three. And then I'm gonna leave one, two, three, four, five off. All right, so let's see. Let's make this number sentence. Three on the platter. One, two, three. Five off. One, two, three, four, five. So it looks like here we have an equation or a number sentence that says three plus five equals eight. All right, let's check our work. Did I add any more burgers? Did I take any away? Nope, so I'm just hoping that this is still gonna equal eight. So let's check it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, totally worked. All right, so let's use that counting on strategy and my number line. So here we go. I'm gonna start at three and I'm gonna count on five more. Three and one, two, three, four, five. We did it again. So we were figuring these out using a picture model and then we also figured it out using the counting on strategy. So can I make another number sentence using eight? Of course I can. Maybe there's some other ways that you decided that you wanted to do, that you wanted to try instead of the ones that we had in our video today. But boys and girls, I always encourage you to practice at home. And you know what I always say? I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye everyone, have a great day.